So Venki, what's this thing you got the guys doing? What are they trying to bowl logs here? Some sort of strip laid out. Uh, I can't make out anything. You know, um, well, this is about uh, the louder. Again. Again. Okay, uh, well, this is about uh, obviously uh, the the length, uh, the line and the length that uh, the bowlers was, uh, are supposed to bowl basically in a, in a T20 game. So it's uh, the, the two boxes there. Obviously, if you see the first box, uh, which is closer to the back, that's for that's mainly for the spinners. Okay, and uh, the second box, you know, further away from the batsman, there is uh, mainly for the uh, for the uh, um, faster bowlers, which is uh, which is good length to back off length. So obviously that's. Uh, yeah, that's what you would be looking to do uh, as a fast bowler. So obviously, if you see that box, it, it's uh, it's straightening. Okay, it's straightening. Here, it's slightly wider, and as it's going near the uh, the bowlers, it's straightening because as you you know as you tend to bowl slightly shorter mm -hmm. on the shorter side, it has to be the, the line has to be much more straighter, and that, that's the whole point. Really. That's the whole concept, and so uh, and, uh, and obviously these these little things, um, you know, are are the markers, uh, especially when they're bowling, you know, the yorkers. So why does the uh, length have to be, or uh, does the width have to be better when it's shorter? Why is that the case? Well, see, obviously, when you're, um, you know, when when you're bowling closer to the batsman, the ball is going to be in the air for a longer time, and that would help the, uh, you know, that will help uh, swing bowling, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's that's the whole point. I see. Yeah. So uh, say for a fast bowler when he's bowling, can't hear. For a fast bowler when he's bowling uh, shorter, and if he bowls if he bowls wider, then there is room for the batsman to play it cut short. So that's why he needs to be as straight as possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how long do you make them do this drill? Oh, it's up to the bowlers. I mean, uh, every single thing what uh, you know the, the whole coaching staff is doing or coaching management is doing is uh, you know to make sure the the players are comfortable so there is uh, there is no hard and fast rule that you have to be bowling you know for half an hour or 45 minutes or whatever i mean they've been playing uh, cricket continuously so uh, it makes sense um, uh, you know to uh, to uh, let them be and uh, and and uh, and sort of you know let them uh, take decisions obviously um, you know there, there at times you ten, uh, we we tend to take them out of out of their comfort zone uh, but having said that, you cannot be too rigid. So maybe about 15 minutes here, and yet uh, net bowling session. Is that how yeah, it goes? Yeah, more than more than uh, the duration. It's the number of balls. So if he's happy with bowling six balls, that's fine, and that would not take more than say about three four minutes. Uh, but if somebody wants to bowl longer, he can. Like Langer, especially, you know, he tends to do this uh, a lot. Charles Langer will. So uh, and uh, Daniel Vittori as well. He he loves to bowl uh, in the middle without the batsman, and you know, sort of spot bowling. Uh, these two guys, I've seen them bowl, you know, bowl a lot. Yeah. So, do you, Venky, do you vary the thing depending on the kind of pitch you're about to play? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. That's why you can see those three, uh, you know, three um, sort of holes here. Where obviously, if, if the seaming track, what I do is I tend to take this up. So, obviously, on a seaming track, you need to pitch the ball slightly more up, isn't it? So, the whole thing moves forward. So, that's the whole concept. So Venky, Venky, just to sum it up, I think this is a great drill for the guys to be bowling in a particular spot a day before the match, right? Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, day before the game is not just about day before the game or practicing uh, one day. It's, uh, you know, they need to be doing this uh, continuously. And uh, as you keep practicing, obviously, that gets into your system. I think you just had a you clean know, bowl so it's, it's all about uh, habit, isn't it? And making mm. it a habit. So what is this uh, exercise called? Oh well, I mean, uh, it is spot bowling. It's spot else. bowling. Yeah, right. nothing else. Spot bowling without without the batsman. And obviously, when you're doing this uh, with with all these uh, things, it, it just gives a clear uh, indication in terms of where the ball is pitching and so on for the bowler. Okay. And uh, and also uh, when you're doing it in the middle, uh, it brings you the feeling of uh, you know playing uh, bowling in the match. Sure. Thanks, thank you. Cheers. Pleasure.